Well, welcome to Wally Bra, and I've got myself a whiteboard. Well, I already had it actually, but I've got myself a whiteboard and I thought I'd do some quick tutorials. So, for the first one, I thought we'd just talk a little bit about some chisels. Now, there's two chisels that are quite common, but they get a little bit, um, well, people can get confused between them. So, what I'm going to talk about is the firmer chisel and the bevel edge chisel. They're, sometimes they can look similar, but nine times out of ten, they're actually not. There's a few things you need to be aware of. Anyway, I've got a selection of chisels just here. The firmer chisel's been around for donkey's years, since medieval times, or archaeological... Well, well, since... They used to make chisels out of old cow's cannon bones. Oh, my precious. Oh. Oh, oh, uh, hello. Oh, uh, okay, I'll put that, yeah, put that there. Oh, thank you for coming to my channel, Wally Boy. Quick tip type videos using the whiteboard. It'd be most kind. And that subscribe button. <laughs> Let's get back to the video. A firmer chisel's profile. Pro your first grind and your second grind to create the sharpened edge and then that would be coming into either a tongue or socket into the handle now it has a square profile so the profile across the top of the chisel is 90 degrees at this point so that should be 90 degrees uh, a flat surface and a flat surface. Now, these would have been the kind of like the go to chisel of yesteryear. And although they're great for doing like mortises, cleaning up around tenon, etc., um, today we don't generally use these as much as we did then. But today we tend to use a lot of bevel edge chisels. And the problem with bevel edge chisels is they're not all the same, they're a little bit they're more like a firmer chisel, but with a slight bevel on them. For instance, here I have a bevel edge pairing chisel, and the side profile here of this bevel edge pairing chisel is still quite thick. So although it's beveled, and when we say a beveled edge chisel, if you're looking down the end of your chisel, the profile would be something like this. So that would be your cutting edge across here. So if you look down the edge of the chisel, and this would be the grind. Whereas the firmer chisel would be like so. And that would be your grind. So that would be square, that would be the 90 degrees here and there. If you want to use your bevel edge chisel for doing a dovetail joint, for instance, and you have one like this, which has a profile, remember that's your bevel edge profile, this one, which is more of a firmer chisel profile, but happens to have a bevel as well, so it's a bit of a hybrid. So you have your chisel like so, and then you've got your profile comes up like so, and then you have your cutting edge along the bottom here. So you have your grind, but part of your ground area here is still square on the edges of your um, chisel. So from there to there it's still square. The problem with that is if you want to do a dovetail joint, for instance, so you have your your dovetail like so, if you try to put that 90 degree cutting edge into here, it's not going to go all the way in. So there's, there's no way you're going to be able to clean this area here with this type of chisel. You need, ideally a skew chisel to work very well for this. You'd have a left and right handed skill chisel. Skew chisel? Skew chisel? Skew chisel. Um, or you can have a dovetail chisel, which a fishtail chisel, which has a, which has a cutting edge a bit like a fishtail. And there's your cutting edge on the side, so you can get it from either side. So if you want a bevel edge chisel, 
you need to get, find yourself one where the bevels go to the points of the chisel. One of my favourite chisels regarding a bevel edge chisel, from what I have had, is the Stanley 500 series. This is more of a carpenter's chisel than a, a manuserie or a cabinet maker's chisel. Um, but, saying that, the bevels on this chisel taper to a point, and this is the Stanley 5000 series. So, the main differences between a firmer chisel and a bevel edge chisel is that the bevels need to go to the point of the chisel. So they must go to the point. Like I said here, if you're looking down the end of your bevel chisel, a true bevel edged chisel, this bevel will go straight to the corners. So that's the firmer chisel, which has got a square profile to the chisel. And it is 90 degrees on all faces. Great for doing your mortises. And then you have your bevel edged firmer chisel. This is actually a pairing chisel, um, but it's the best example I could find. Still has quite a square profile on the edge, straight to the point. For a general purpose chisel, I would go for the bevel edge chisel, but making sure that the bevels go all the way to the point. Anyway, I hope you found that of use, and I hope it is clear as mud. No, I hope it's clear as day. Well, you managed to get to the end of my video, so I assume I must have grabbed your attention, or you just couldn't be bothered to click off. So, hammer that like button. Hammer that subscribe button and comment below. <laughs> yeah, and click that little bell because then you get a nice little, little buzzy hum in your pocket and that'll be me it's uploading another video. So, thank you for watching and keep on woodworking and keep on learning.